Hector Strike. A fantasy land, it's Gilliland Punch. If you have ever been to an Ohio athletic event, you have heard the voice of Lou Horvath, especially at an Ohio volleyball game. Being the Ohio announcer, that's my favorite part. I'm a big Bobcat fan, always have been, and it's just a, an incredible treat and an incredible honor to be able to do this. Horvath got his start at his son's junior high soccer games and has translated that into a career calling just about every Bobcat sport. I was asked to do women's basketball and volleyball and soccer. So I started doing those, and then I've done football and men's basketball since then as well. I've done wrestling, I've done track, and uh, I've probably done more games in the Convocation Center than anybody living or dead. And the Convo is home to Horvath, as it is to Ohio Volleyball. He is a staple at matches for his energy that catalyzes the Cats. He has fun with it, so then we have fun with it too. So like on the road, it's like different because there's different announcers every time. I think it's just the fun spirit in which he does it. You know, you go to a lot of venues and you know, it's kill by X and, and Lou really sells it, has fun with it. He has a great voice for it. Um, his head is, if he's watching this, is getting bigger and bigger. So you have to be careful with what you say around Lou. He definitely gets the crowd going. Just by being funny and creative, people don't expect that. Sometimes the things are just so absurd that um, that's what gets people going even if it's, if it's it just doesn't make any sense. It may not make any sense, but it has made for some memorable nicknames. He's had so many good ones, you know, very individual player based. And, you know, the Obi-Wan Jacoby was pretty funny for Sue Jacoby. I like his posterized with Katie Post. Ellen Herman, the Hermanator, that was pretty easy. Was a long time ago, it was Sue Jacoby, so it was Obi-Wan Jacoby. Uh, Ellen Herman was the Hermanator. You know, Faith Robbins, a leap of faith. And he hasn't missed a beat, or in this case, a nickname, with this current Ohio team. I've heard like about Horton Hears a Who, and I was expecting that when I came in because I've heard it all my life. Dumpin', poppin', Horton. We've got uh, Karen Bull, the running of the bulls when she makes a shot. Obviously, I like the one he made up about me because I didn't think um, there were that many things he could make up, so. Um, one of them is um, why rent when you can lease, and then there's the killer con. Lease killer con with a pleasure. Lamberti, he's constantly throwing out Italian references and making offers that she can't refuse. Making an offer she can't refuse. Lamberti. How does Horvath come up with these phrases? Are they improvised or pre-planned? I think he comes up with it on the fly, to be honest, because he's good at it, so he has to. Some of them are pretty crazy. I don't know how he would even come up with them, you know, just sitting at home and writing them down. <laughs> the truth? It's organic. It kind of grows from game to game. Depends. I, I don't go very much into pre-planning these things. But Horvath is infamous for his tasty dinnertime snack reference that he has ingrained into Ohio volleyball culture. The favorite thing to say? Oh, the mashed potato sandwich. The mashed potato sandwich. Mashed potato sandwich is always a classic. Hey, what about a mashed potato sandwich? People always ask me, what what does that mean? Nobody know, really knows what that is except Lou, and so we've always asked. It just happened. Uh, it was a very soft shot in the middle during one of the games, and a mashed potato sandwich is nothing but soft in the middle. It's just original. I had never, ever heard it. I've never heard it in a volleyball game ever. You hear campfire defense where people are all around, and you hear all kinds of expressions, but never the mashed potato sandwich. That's a Lou special.